From lost cities to pieces of space shuttles, the waters of our world have a lot hidden underneath its mighty depths. Hi, I'm Bob, and join me as I reveal to you 13 of the most amazing underwater discoveries. Number 13. The Lost City of Heraklion now, hopefully you all know the legend of Atlantis, a lost city underneath the ocean that houses an entire civilization, or even one that was sunk by the gods and has untold amounts of treasure within. Either way, a city underneath the ocean is very intriguing. But what if I told you that there are actually cities that are buried deep within the depths of the water? Enter Heraklion a city that was once part of Egypt and was even considered to be the gateway to the country. It was so important, in fact, that when it was taken by the oceans, it was named the Lost Kingdom of Cleopatra, which is quite a title if you think about it. So what exactly happened to the city? Well, scientists believe that a combination of earthquakes, tidal waves, and even flooding forced the city into the water, never to be seen again. That is, until the year 2000, when it was rediscovered only two kilometers away from the city of Alexandria. Number 12. A Cold Case Beneath the Waves Now, sometimes you don't have to look too far to find something of importance under the water. In fact, you may just have to look near your local lake to see if there's anything interesting. In Oklahoma, police were testing out some new sonar equipment on a nearby lake, and as they did, they discovered two cars that had bodies inside of them. After pulling them out, they realized that these bodies were part of a very old cold case. I'm talking like 40 years old. With the bodies being found, the police were able to close the case, and the families of those who were deceased were able to get closure after all those years. Number 11. Sunken Gold now admit it, the dream of you and anyone else that you know who has ever gone deep sea diving is to find some kind of treasure, right? Well, it's been the basis of a lot of careers, not to mention numerous television shows and films. But usually the treasure is via a pirate ship or something like that, but it's not the only kind of ship that's transported gold across the oceans. For example, in 1857, there was a ship by the name of the SS Central America. Its payload was supplies, but also it featured a substantial amount of gold. Due to a hurricane, the ship would sink, taking all of its cargo down to the deep. Fast forward 130 years to 1987, and that's when archaeologists would find the ship and its cargo still intact. Now one can only imagine their joy when they discovered a great booty of gold. The amount of gold was kind of small, but even back then it was a small fortune. And you know there have to be other ships like that in the world today. They just need to be found. Number 10. Liftoff. We have liftoff. The space program is arguably one of the most important endeavors in our world. Ever since I was a little boy, I've been fascinated with space and always wanted to be an astronaut. It's the final frontier, after all. And to explore it, we have to make it up there. And anyone who actually knows the program knows that they both take off and land near and into bodies of water. But why? Well, it's actually because when the spaceship launches into space, it jettisons parts of itself, like engines and debris and thrusters, and it all depends on the ship itself and what it's actually designed to do. This is especially true of some of the earliest space shuttles. Arguably, the most famous shuttle is the Apollo 11, which was the ship that was taken to the moon. And yes, that shuttle did have debris and engines that were detached from the ship during its ascension, which started a mini-race to try and find them. A race that would not be completed until the year 2012, when a so-called secret expedition led one man to find the engine. And when he found it, it was the real deal. It had identifiers to prove that it was what he claimed, and it's a truly remarkable discovery and one that is prized by NASA. Oh, and the man who found the engine? <laughs> Jeff Bezos, of course, the CEO of Amazon. Number 9. A Rift Between Continents But first, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell before you leave so that you don't miss out on the latest videos. 
If you've ever had the joy and privilege of going diving, you'll no doubt understand exactly why people do it. To see the beauty of the underwater world and get to experience what life is like under the sea is really awesome. But you also have to get the chance to go exploring and you'll never know exactly what you're going to find. One of the most famous and arguably most important discoveries was that of the Silfra Rift. Now when I say rift, I mean this is a literal hole or gap between two very important things. And what things do you say? Well, the North American and Euro-Asia plates. You know, that chunk of earth that the continents are literally a part of? Yeah, those ones. The discovery of the rift itself is impressive, but it's also worrying a lot of people because it's growing. In fact, by at least two centimeters every year. Now, on one hand, that's a small growth, a very small one, but on the other hand, it's going to become worrying at some point, hence people's desire to find a way to close it up. Regardless of the importance, the rift is within a very beautiful part of the ocean, and if you ever have the opportunity to go and do it, you totally should. Number 8. The Oldest City in the World Now, I've already shown you one city that was sunk during ancient times, but that wasn't the only one to have been drowned. In fact, scientists would discover a Greek city underwater in 1967, and they say that it apparently dates back to 2800 BCE, which could make it the oldest city in the world by their estimation. Adding to that intrigue is that the city is still very much intact within the water. You can clearly find the buildings that were built, the streets that were constructed, and even tombs that they used to bury their dead. Eventually, the city would be named Pavlopetri. And what sunk it, you may ask? Well, many believe that it was a series of earthquakes that actually brought it down. Number 7. A Missing Link now there is a reason that many people dedicate their lives to studying the waters of our world. There are many mysteries and secrets that have yet to be discovered, and only by going into the waters can the secrets truly be found. One such secret may be a bridge that helps to show the evolution of all life. In the Atlantic Ocean, there is a hydrothermal vent called Loki's Castle, and during an exploration of the area, scientists found what they feel to be a missing link in the earliest evolutions of life, one that would be a step between single-celled organisms and the multi-celled organism that started spreading millions of years later, according to them. In tribute to where the missing link was found, the microorganism has been dubbed Loki Archaeota. Number 6. Nature's Mark There are a lot of mysterious things underneath the ocean. One of the biggest ones I'll be talking about a little later, but some of the coolest ones are made by nature itself. While diving in the waters of South Japan, a photographer found a very odd mark that was about 80 feet below sea level. The design of the mark was intricate and large in size, about 6 feet in diameter in fact, and as word would spread, people began to wonder what it was, even getting a documentary made about it. However, the truth is actually much cooler than the fiction for the culprit behind the mark was actually the Japanese puffer fish. As it turns out, the creature makes the mark in order to both attract its mates and protect its eggs from predators, which is pretty cool. Number 5. The Black Sea River Now, when you think of oceans or seas, you likely think about the massive amounts of water that are inside of them, but what if I told you that in the case of the Black Sea, that a river actually runs through it? Not a metaphorical river, but a literal one. There is an underwater river flowing through the Black Sea, and needless to say, scientists are actually baffled by it, especially in terms of how life seems to be emanating from the river and there's even a waterfall within its route. Adding to the intrigue, if the river was actually on land and not underwater, it would be the sixth largest river in the entire world. Number 4. Icy Fingers Now, the frozen waters of the north and south are home to their own mysteries. One of the most interesting is Ice Fingers, or Brinicles. These are formations of ice that happen underneath the water and truly resemble fingers, yet they're also terrifying because of their size. They can be bigger than humans at times. These are caused by brine, which are more dense than the waters around it, and as it moves down into the water it freezes, becoming a literal ice statue. They may be beautiful, but they've also been known to trap fish as they expand, truly catching them in the icy grip of death.
Number 3. The Mariana Trench One of the biggest questions when it comes to the oceans is, how deep is it? Yes, we have estimations, but few have ever truly gone to the bottom of the ocean. But this all changed when the Mariana Trench was discovered in 1875. The trench is massive, and being about 11 kilometers long with a depth of over 36,000 feet, you may think that nothing could survive in it, but you would be wrong. In fact, a whole ecosystem lies within the trench, proving that life truly does find a way. Number 2. The Underwater Pyramids Many pyramids of our world were made by various cultures, and by and large are some of the greatest wonders. The time and effort that were put into making them is a true marvel of human engineering. But now though, I want you to picture how long it would take to make those underwater. Off the coast of Portugal, you're going to find some pyramids underwater. Pyramids that are very tall, yet are 40 meters below sea level. Now there is some debate as to whether these were man-made or were actually made by the flow of the oceans, but no matter what, it's quite a find to behold. Number 1. The Baltic Sea Anomaly Now are you ready to be weirded out? Really, really weirded out? For my final discovery, I give you an object that's still unknown in its origin even to this day. The Baltic Sea Anomaly During a dive, some Swedish explorers discovered a rock formation that is unlike anything that had ever been seen before. On the bottom of the Baltic Sea is a thing that's 60 meters wide, 4 feet thick, and shaped kind of like a ship resting on a pillar that's about 8 feet tall. Absolutely nobody knows exactly what it is, and the guesses range from everything to ancient submarines to an alien vessel. Adding to all of that and smoothing it into the X-Files motif, the explorers claim that their electrical equipment began to fail as they got closer to the mystery ship. Take that as you will, but it does track with just how weird and mysterious the object is. What did you think about these underwater discoveries? Were you surprised about some of them ending up at the bottom of the ocean? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.